At the end of the day, we just really want to sound cool for all the friends on our stream. Better yet, we want to sound extra ordinary. <laughs> In this video, I'll show you how to set up voice mod from the start all the way to the finish so you walk away from this video without any confusion. After watching this video, you'll know how to set up voice mod in every single application that you want it set up on. That includes Discord, TeamSpeak, OBS, Voice Meter. We're going to show you how to set up voice mod on anything that you want it set up on. In the description below, I have linked all the timestamps that are appropriate for this tutorial. If you're looking to speed run through this content, make sure you check out the timestamps in the description below. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. When you first open voice mod, you're going to select your microphone and the headphones that you're going to use as a monitoring device within voice mod. So go ahead and select the microphone that you have set up on your computer and then you can select the the headphones that you use in my opinion if you're using voice meter it doesn't really matter which source you select on uh, this portion of the video if you're not using voice meter go ahead and select your headphones or your speakers that you use on a regular basis after we select the devices on voice mod it will take full control of the audio from your microphone and create its own virtual device on your desktop this new virtual device will now become our microphone source on our computer what's happening is the audio from our microphone is being sent to our computer voice mod is taking that audio mixing it with any of the presets that you set up or any of the soundboard settings that you set up and sending it to its own voice mod source that it creates on your computer what we need to do is go in and set up that voice mod source as the microphone source on our desktop there are two ways we can go about doing this we can set up the voice mod source as our default recording device on our computer which will make every application open our microphone by default or we can manually select the voice mod source in every single one of the applications that we want voice mod running on. So what we need to do is right click on this speaker icon down here, go to sounds. From the sounds window, we can go to recording, scroll down till we find the voice mod virtual audio device and set it to default. Once you set that device to default, we can verify that it is running and working within our applications. For instance, if we take a look at Discord, go over to user settings, go down to voice and video from here, we can select the default device as our input device, and then we want to verify that it is running correctly. There are a few ways that you can do this. You can check that the audio is being recognized within Discord from the input sensitivity meter down here, or you can actually listen to the device by clicking the let's check button under the microphone test section in the settings. This will play the microphone audio to the output device that you have selected within Discord. If you want to verify that the changes to your microphone are taking place, you can select one of the presets within voice mod just to verify that the audio is being changed or your vocals are being changed. The other way that you can set this up is by manually selecting the voice mod virtual audio device from the input selection window. Either setting up the voice mod source as the default device on your computer or manually selecting the voice mod source as the input source on any of your applications is an okay way to set it up. I do suggest setting up the voice mod source as the default device on your computer. And the reason that is, is because by default, when you download any application, the voice mod source will be running on that app. For instance, if we take a look at OBS, which is how I'm recording this video now, I currently have my microphone source set to default. If I open up voice mod and I select one of these presets, you'll notice that the audio has changed on my microphone. That's how we know the device is running properly on our desktop. You can repeat that same process for every application that you want voice mod set up on. And that's how you set up voice mod on your computer. Now you're ready to set up voice mod on every single app that you use you just need to follow those same steps right for those of you in my community that will be using voice mod with voice meter let's go ahead and talk about setting that up 
what we're going to do is hit the drop down on the hardware input one where we would normally select our microphone device we're going to select that voice mod virtual device from here we'll toggle on that b2 this will send our audio to the voice meter aux output and we'll set that up as our default device on our computer so we're going to go back to our sounds we're going to go to the recording tab from here, we're going to scroll down till we find the voice meter aux output, and we're going to set that as the default device on our computer. After you've done that, you can go into Discord or any app that you want it set up on and set it either to default or you can select the voice meter aux output source. For instance, if we take a look at OBS, go down to voice meter aux output as our device, go into voice mod and change my voice. <laughs> That's going to complete this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For those of you that have been around for a while, if you're interested in supporting the content that I create, consider checking out the Gilded subscriptions that I have linked in the description below. I also have a Patreon in which you get some pretty cool rewards uh, for subscribing month to month. Things like stickers, mugs, shirts, and that sort of thing. Thing. If you guys are interested in Twitch streams, check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thefrancois. I am streaming every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And with that being said, I want to thank you again for watching this video and I will catch you next time.